What do you say, buddy? You got a couple more years, you're gonna grow into a big Christmas tree. You gotta be beautiful. Good morning, everybody. Uh, if you look, the sun is shining. It's about 55 degrees today. Uh, so the saying goes, if you don't like the weather in Maine, just wait a couple of minutes and you'll be happy. And that's the truth. So two days ago, it was snowing and absolutely miserable. And now it's gorgeous again. And the buds are coming out on the trees. And springtime is in the air. Got to do a couple of things today. Uh, gonna take uh, some wood chips we're gonna take some wood chips and pile them up over at the farm uh, so we had a winter storm in April that uh, took down a lot of trees and we went ahead and chipped those all up and I got a couple piles of wood chips that I want to get together into one big pile before the grass greens up and we have to mow it right now we're heading to the jewelry store because I need to get an engagement ring for the love of my life. Uh, apparently, uh, it's a nice ring. She had picked it out uh, back in Christmas. See, I was smart because one time I got her some jewelry that I spent a lot of money on and she didn't like it. She pretended to like it, but she didn't like it. So I said, you pick out the ring, you get sized, and I'll surprise you on when I get it. So stick around and we'll... Uh, get to work. We got some dirt. We gotta spread some dirt. Let's get at it. Good morning guys, uh, another beautiful day, uh, it's spring in May, it's a class 3 high forest danger weather day today, uh, but I don't have to worry about that because I'm on vacation. I discovered that we have a hydraulic leak on the bucket loader of the John Deere tractor. So we need to dig into that and I will tell you right now that I am not a mechanic. Got a couple other things to share with you. I might even have a surprise for you later in the week or later today, we'll see. For some reason, this is really loose. And I noticed last night that it was leaking. You know what, hold on. I'm going to get myself a knee pad. Oh, there we go. All right.
I'm not a mechanic. Uh, probably gonna call some friends, figure that out. All right, I'm heading in to get hydraulic fluid, and uh, I wanted to tell you the story about how my engagement went uh, with my girlfriend and now fiance. There's a local restaurant about two towns over that she is not very fond of, and <laughs> the story was that if we ever were going to break up, that we would tell each other that we wanted to have dinner at that restaurant. So I thought it would be a good idea to go get takeout from that restaurant and bring it home. And I put the ring in the takeout box. And I come back and it's got all the stuff from the restaurant on all the tata sauce and all that. And she's looking at it. I said, well, what's up? And she's like, are you trying to tell me something? The only time we were going to that restaurant is if we were going to break up. I'm like, I don't know. Open up, open up the dinner. So there were four dinner boxes and she opens up three of them. And <laughs> none of them had the ring in it. So I ended up opening up the fourth box for her and I had the ring box in there. And she kind of looks at it and then she looks at me and then she looks at it and then she looks at me. She kind of stared and she starts getting all teary eyed. And I said, well, are you gonna make me get down on one knee? And she said, yes. And I said, because I don't know if we're going to be able to get back up because they were stiff. So I got down on one knee and I asked her to marry me. And she looked at me and she starts crying and looks at me. And I said, you know, I really wasn't nervous going to propose to you. And now you're not saying anything. I'm really nervous. So you need to say something really quick. And she said, well, I suppose. And I'm like, all right. And then she's like, yes, of course, I'll marry you. So needless to say, I'm getting married. Um, old Quinado is engaged to be married. So I thought you'd like that story. Let's go get some hydraulic. <laughs> Hey guys, I messed up a little bit. I did not film me putting fluid into the tractor, uh, but we put about a gallon and a half in, and my buddy's coming over to take a look at the fittings. Hey guys, I'm pretty excited. Guess what happened? The buds are breaking! The buds are breaking! Look at those. We're ready to pop and we got some over here. Look at them. They're gonna break real soon. Oh, those broke. Do you see that? Hey, little guy, you ready to go? Oh, look, look. Right there, see that green? He's ready to go. You're gonna turn a nice deep, deep green color and grow good for Christmas? All right, buddy. These two loafers, sorry guys gonna gonna have to take you out beautiful right there all right guys so i came over to the transplant bed the little seedling bed that we made uh, just to check it out we have some that are, are breaking we have some that are not uh, i don't think we're going to get 100 percent propagation but we knew that anyway so i'm pretty excited yeah so see that right there you can tell those are starting to break a little bit uh a little green there but then let's see we have this one here doesn't look quite so healthy right so we'll see or like this guy over here right so i don't know if they're gonna make it but then this guy over here this pine you can tell he's he's starting to green up there's a little uh, buds there we'll keep on it i'll keep you posted pretty excited the buds are breaking on the 
established trees. So that's a really good thing. So this is the north field. And I think it's absolutely beautiful in the springtime. It's going to be a big old Christmas tree, isn't it? Big old Christmas tree. Well, there. I think the field looks really nice with the white flowers. Dad told me what they are, but I can't remember. So I bet I bet about this time in the video, you're going to see some words pop across the screen telling you what they are. So there we have it. This is the north field. You can see the wild woods up in the back. It's going to be a good year. Friday, May 15th. Uh, pretty much going to wrap up my week here at the tree farm. Uh, I want to remind you guys to like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below if there's anything that you want to see and hit the notification button. Uh, it's been a really good week and I'm glad to have you with us. As always, I'd rather feel bad in Maine than feel good anywhere else. There I go my friends, we'll see you soon. Who knows, this might not even make it to a video because I don't want to look like an idiot on the YouTube.